From the time electricity was invented, people have been using more and more energy ever since. Islington Council wanted to make Islington a safer, better and nicer place for residents to live. So it began to produce energy to light up the streets. But later, supplying people's homes. From the 1980s, the energy network has been run by big energy companies. Our energy is becoming more and more expensive. Did you know that today we still lose up to 60% of energy in the systems used to generate electricity, like power stations? The energy is lost in two ways. Three, generated and wasted to the environment and through losses due to the distance the electricity has to travel. On the other hand, with Bunk Hill Heat and Power, Islington are creating energy locally again. In doing so, we are able to capture the normally wasted heat that is used to heat our homes. This makes it more efficient saving money and making people comfortable and it is better for the environment. Because Bun Hill Heat and Power is being built for Islington for the community, the money that would go to energy companies stays in the local community, giving people cheaper, greener heat. We started off looking at where across the borough the heat density, where heat use is the greatest, so where the benefits of this cheaper, greener heat would be greatest for our residents and for our own buildings. And at the top of that list was Bun Hill. We are building it to serve three estates, which is over 710 homes, and the two leisure centres, Finsby Leisure Centre and the newly refurbished Ironmonger Road Bars. Part of Council's fairness agenda is to make Islington fairer. Cheaper bills is part of that. The main point of the project is actually to keep cost down for local people. That's the reason why we're doing it. It also has the advantage of being clean and green, which makes it future friendly, a uh, much more environmentally efficient type of energy, but keeping costs down so people can afford energy is the critical thing we're doing here. We are currently inside the Bun Hill uh, Islington Council CHP, the alternator and uh, the 96 litre uh, 20 cylinder V configuration twin turbo gas fired engine. Vital Energy uh, specialise in energy centres and turnkey operations with district heating. It was always going to be a challenge uh, excavating for the network, the pipe network, around the, uh, all the different estates and keeping everybody happy, but the residents, I must say, have been brilliant. Well, my wife and I have lived here 32 years. Heating for us is very important. My wife will explain it better for you because she's have, got a I... illness which is called Raynards, which it could be it could be 90 degrees and she'd still be cold. So I have to put layers of clothes on and that and that is why the heating for us is really important. Very important. And it's also important for a lot of the elderly people that are on this estate. get up to get ready for work so the kettle will go on or the radio or the TV will also go on. Um, obviously the telly will go on once the little one's awake so that she can eat her breakfast. <laughs> A lot of people don't seem to worry about the cost until the bills are rolling in but as through the months you just use what you, what you think you need and I think that people probably overuse. We do as a family, we definitely do. got a, just a state pension, most of us. You just, I mean, food's gone up a lot. Besides, everything else keeps going up. So it means you've got to try and stretch your pension more and more. Sometimes you have to jiggle around. It's like Robin Peter to pay for sometimes because 
of the cost. And you've got to add heating. You can't sit there in the cold when you get older. It, it, it's a necessity. There are a lot of people in our society who actually are very energy poor and can't afford uh, energy and fuel the way that some people can. We're looking to make sure people here can actually get the energy and the fuel that they need uh, to uh, stay warm and well. Bunhill Combined Heat and Power Plant is located right next door to the Leisure Centre here at Finsbury. Um, obviously it, it's supplying heat and power to the local community um, and the Leisure Centre is connected to it as well. So we're looking forward to um, reduced utility bills that we can invest in uh, health and sports in the community. It's good for the environment, uh, there's less cost with the travel of the energy, it's local, it can be sourced locally, maintained locally and I think people will benefit from the cheaper costs from that. The energy centre and the heat stations at Bunhill uh, scheme are very low maintenance. We have a team of local engineers uh, on call out 24-7 and we've got a 10 year maintenance contract with Islington Council. So at the moment we're, we're spending money on gas to heat water when we're connected to the plant we'll be getting direct hot water so that reduces our carbon footprint as well. It's taken over 10 years to get to the project to where it is today. One of the other reasons we've got where we are is the great teamwork across the council. A lot of skilled and enthusiastic colleagues but basically a lot of hard graft. And if you can put more food on the table for people, you can put a pair of shoes on a child's feet, then it's got, it's got to be a good thing. If Bunhill provide this whole cleaner, greener energy and it's in the local area, then obviously it's better for the residents and they will save money. It may be over time, but money will be saved and they'll be a lot happier. Well, I would be anyway.